Hello and welcome to today's video on how do ants build their nests. So please watch the complete video. And subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Let's start the video. Ants are known for their incredible organizational skills and remarkable ability to build complex and intricate nests. These nests, which can range in size from a few centimeters, to several meters in diameter, are home to thousands or even millions of ants, and play a crucial role in the survival and success of ant colonies. But how exactly do ants build these nests? What processes and mechanisms are involved in creating these impressive structures? Now we will explore the fascinating world of ant nest building, and delve into the intricacies of this remarkable behavior. Ant nest building. Ants are social insects that live in organized groups called colonies. Each colony is comprised of several castes, including queens, workers, and soldiers. And each caste has its own unique roles and responsibilities within the colony. The primary function of the colony is to support the survival and reproduction of the queen who is responsible for laying eggs and producing offspring. One of the most important tasks of the colony is building and maintaining the nest. The nest serves as a home, a place to store food, and a safe haven for the queen and her offspring. Ants build their nests in a variety of locations, including underground, in trees, and even in man-made structures. The process of nest building begins with the selection of a suitable site. Ants typically choose sites that offer protection from predators, a stable temperature, and access to food and water. Once a site has been chosen, the workers begin the process of excavating the site and constructing the nest. Excavation and Tunneling The first step in nest building is excavation. Ants use their mandibles to remove soil, debris, and other materials from the chosen site. This excavation process can be extensive and may involve the removal of large amounts of soil and debris. After the excavation is complete, the ants begin tunneling. Ants use their mandibles to dig tunnels and chambers within the nest. These tunnels and chambers serve a variety of functions including storage of food and water, housing of the queen and her offspring, and providing shelter for the colony. The tunnels and chambers are also used to regulate the temperature within the nest. Ants have been known to use the tunnels to create air currents that circulate throughout the nest, helping to maintain a stable temperature. Construction and Material Selection as the ants excavate and tunnel, they begin to construct the nest. Ants use a variety of materials to construct their nests, including soil, sand, twigs, and plant fibers. The construction process involves the placement of materials in specific locations within the nest. For example, ants may use plant fibers to create a soft, comfortable bed for the queen and her offspring while sand and soil may be used to reinforce the walls and ceilings of the nest. Ants are also known to use their own bodies as building materials. In some species, worker ants will cling together to create a living wall that provides support and stability to the nest. As the nest grows and develops, the ants continue to add new materials and make modifications to the structure. The construction and maintenance of the nest is an ongoing process, with the workers constantly making adjustments and improvements to ensure the nest remains functional and secure. Communication and Coordination One of the most remarkable aspects of ant nest building is the level of communication and coordination involved in the process. Ants use a variety of signals and cues to communicate with each other and coordinate their actions. For example, ants may use pheromones to mark specific locations within the nest, indicating where materials should be placed or where new tunnels should be dug. They may also use tactile cues, such as touching antennae, 
to signal to other ants where they are and what they are doing. This level of communication and coordination allows the workers to work together efficiently. Now you are able to understand that how do ants build their nests. Thanks for watching. If you like this video press the like button. And subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. Take care goodbye.